Well, as you know, Senator Cruz is locked in a tight race for re-election with Democratic contender Beto O'Rourke. Democrats aren't only saying that the letters are deceptive. One leading Democrat contends they're also illegal. The Cruz campaign sent out hundreds of thousands of letters to voters that appear to be official court summonses. They say on the envelope, summons enclosed, open immediately, and official Harris County summons. But inside, the letter solicits donations for Senator Cruz's re-election campaign. Austin resident Sean Owen was one of the first to object to the mail out this weekend via Twitter when he received a letter addressed to his recently deceased grandmother. I wonder if it was targeted at someone like my grandmother who might have actually misunderstood this as an official document. This is one of the most slimy, most deceitful things I have ever seen any campaign do. State Representative Gene Wu says the mailings violate a section of the State Deceptive Trade Practices Act, one that he sponsored and the legislature passed in 2015. It prohibits soliciting goods or services using mail that appears to be from a government agency. That could be a violation of Texas civil law, but Representative Wu says he believes the Cruz mailouts are also a criminal violation. I think this actually is a criminal violation of the Pe Texas Penal Code 32.48 where it says point blank, you may not send something out that looks like a summons or pretends that it is a summons in order to get people to do something. Catherine Frazier with the Cruz campaign says the envelopes are clearly marked Ted Cruz for Senate and that the letters were targeted to people likely to support Republicans. She says only a handful of people are trying to create a controversy. And it's not clear if those letters are violations of state law, but Representative Wu wants to test that. He's asking people who've received them to file complaints with the state attorney general and local district attorneys. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.